Not that many people would think cutting down trees could be good for salmon, but it's actually the cornerstone of our new restoration strategy. Here in California, coho salmon are really teetering on the brink of extinction. The Nature Conservancy, the Conservation Fund, and others are working together to improve salmon habitat using some innovative and really cost-efficient restoration strategies. One of the main restoration strategies that we're using here is to reintroduce fallen trees or large pieces of wood to the stream to help improve habitat value. By putting logs in the creek, we're really trying to do three things out here. We're trying to provide overhead shelter from predators. We're trying to create larger and deeper pools. And we're also trying to slow the water down in the winter and give those fish a place to hide out out of those high winter flows. Traditional in-stream restoration often requires anchoring material using steel rebar or braided steel cable. There's several drawbacks to that. There's increased cost with that. You create this static, hard structure that isn't able to adjust as the stream adjusts. The alternative stream restoration method that we're using out here utilizes free-falling near stream conifers directly into the creek and or using the equipment, in this case a rubber tire grapple skidder, to place logs into the channel and using existing trees or vegetation to act as an anchor. What we're doing is almost more like making a suggestion to the stream. We're adding wood and placing logs in ways that we hope will have a positive impact on the stream bed and the course of the stream. The Conservation Fund and the Nature Conservancy complement each other out here. The Nature Conservancy is much more science-based and science-strong. What we bring is the practical experience. This is just a, a great project. It, it works fast and it's efficient and cost-effective. So we completed our first project in 2009 and we're seeing really remarkable results in salmon habitat improvement. I was really excited to find fish out here. It did give me hope that we, we really had potential here to turn things around. We're able to do these wood projects for a tenth to a third of the cost of using traditional wood loading methods. The techniques that we've been using out here have broad applicability, not only across the North Coast, but across the Pacific Northwest. You were able to restore large portions of these streams and watersheds relatively quickly. And knowing that we're getting a lot of these areas treated makes me real optimistic for the fish populations in the near future. There's something very satisfying about helping bring the fish back. We know that saving salmon is a really complicated process, but we feel that the work we're doing here is a really critical step in ensuring their long-term survival.